Hi, welcome to Equator. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can solve roots or find roots of uh, quadratic, quadratic equation, which are um, second degree and cubic, which is third degree polynomial, using this EL520W calculator. So let's say we have this equation f of x is equal to x squared minus 5 plus 6. So uh, we have the coefficients of ax squared plus bx plus c format, if you write it in that way, a is 1, b is minus 5, and c is 6. But to do that, we have to go to mode, go down with the arrow, and then press 2 for equation. And then this arrow shows that we can go down, quadratic, and then cubic for quadratic, press 2. Now it asks for a, I'm pressing 1, and then equal sign, and then it asks for b, b is minus 5, and then c is 6, so x is 3, x1, x2 is 2, and that's it. So this was the solution for that. Now some, some calculators also give the vertex form of the quadratic, the values for h and k. This calculator doesn't. So now let's do another example. Now this time a is 3. I, I, if you want to try something else, just enter the value b is 3 and c is 2. x and y, the corner shows that this answer has imaginary part. To get the imaginary part, press second function and then exp with this two arrow. So it shows for x2, this is the value. For x1, second function here, plus 0.6i. And if you pay attention here, sorry, so that was plus 0 point plus 0 point six i, and then x two is minus five, that's minus 0 point six i. So the i here is shows that's imaginary. Now let's do this one, x squared minus two x plus one. So the coefficient is 1 minus 2 and 1, 1 minus 2 and 1. So x1 is 1. Here, when you see x1 is 1, because we know this is quadratic, we are supposed to have two values, so we have two values, both of them are 1. That's why I selected this example. So now let's go for the third degree. I'm using now plus mode, go down equation, press 2, and then go down and then cubic. Now, the same thing, we have a squared plus bx plus c, a is cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d. So this is the way it is because we have uh, to the power 3, we don't have to the power 2, we have to write it as 0 to the power, 0 times x to the power 2 and then 4x, and then we don't have the last term, also 0. So here we have a, b, c, and d. a is uh, minus 1, b is 0, c is 4, and then d is 0. So we got answer, x1 is minus 2, x2 is minus uh, 2 and then x3 is 0. So now let's calculate this one. My, the, uh, the result here is minus 1, b is 0, c is 3, d is minus 5. Now we got x1 minus 1.7 and x2 immediately x and y appear so this is the value and you want to get 0 0.8 let's see second function this one plus 0 0.846 i plus here and then x3 again xy so this value this could be minus yes minus 0 point so they're most of the time conjugate of each other so this calculator cannot do the fourth degree polynomial. Thank you for watching. Please thumb up the video and also please share it with friends and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it.